I haven't looked at the wells or anything yet. I've kind of been working them through the... Where are you going, Brad? Oh. 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 Always, always learning. I mean, you can never say you're done because you always got to keep improving. There's always something that you can change or make better. And that's what we're, we keep trying to learn. Whether it comes from your motor and getting it tuned down to just right, to how you build your car, to the aerodynamics of the car. I mean, the weight, everything. It's just that, the whole process. Our car runs on biodiesel that we make from the leftover kitchen oil in our school cafeteria. So it's kind of different uh, than most of the other cars here. We um, reacted with a catalyst. We reacted with KOH and methanol, and then we uh, filter it out. We have waste product too. Uh, we have a lot of glycerol, but then we basically just filter it. And we have to we have to filter the finished product a lot and do a lot of tests on it because if you're putting it in your tank, it has to. We like meet the federal standards for because we fuel the the tractors at the our tractors school. Yeah, other like groundskeeping machinery. Yeah, with the body. the same so. fuel. Well, it's always neat to see the cars come back year after year to see their modifications they've made between the different classes. Yeah, continuous like improvement. Yeah, continuous improvement, and also with the safety, like you know, the lock nut fasteners, and double nuts, and more secure fasteners, so things aren't falling off as much. And, and just kind of seeing the evolutionary progress of the of the car in most of the situations. coming I hope this will be a good learning experience for you the number one thing is that we need to be safe okay so we have the rules that you, that you signed in the driver's contract so you guys that are drivers need to really pay attention and be safe down in the pits that applies too. charge of sending you out onto the track so he'll look in your car he'll make sure that you have your helmet on you're not leaking fuel some things you know that he can look at real quick and then he'll hold you until the track's clear and then let you go. You need to stay on the right as long as you can and then you can merge in and go around the, the corner, okay?
And while we're setting cars up and sending them off, we're also watching the track to make sure that um, additional uh, cars on the track uh, are moving. Uh, we're not impeding their flow of the race. Uh, so we're multitasking quite a bit uh, with the uh, cars on the track. And at the same time, managing the crosswalk and looking out for everybody's safety as well. After we do the safety inspection, we check to make sure a timer is ready to record. Uh, after the timer is ready, um, we synchronize with the car and the pit crew. They start the car. Uh, they have three uh, chances to start the car. I'm tweeting basically the information from the Excel spreadsheet on on Twitter so that the kids can see get the information. When we put that information in, it calculates the total grams of fuel used and at, calculates the average speed and the miles per gallon. That's the best one out here. Definitely. Yeah. Because some cars will catch a lot of wind, but with the, uh, it take away a lot of fuel because you could just coast down the hill. Took the same car, but we made it better. Yes, yes. It's still good.